off to Los Angeles Angels today to try some premium seats for a baseball game at the Angel Stadium of Anaheim. First up, and with 45 minutes to go until gates opened, we made our way past the big A sign and some tailgates. A good noise coming from the fans outside as we made our way towards the stadium. And it's worth saying, Angels play in the American League West Division, and today was a pretty big game. Made our way towards the ticket office, where there was a game schedule, and today's game was versus the LA Dodgers. Continued on our walk around to the front of the stadium, and gotta say, some pretty cool features outside, as we arrived at about 4.30 p.m. In front of the stadium are two huge baseball caps, as well as two Mickey Mouses, because Angels used to be owned by Disney. Made our way towards the amazing entrance, complete with oversized baseball bats and baseballs. Then through security, just as gates opened at 5 p.m. At this point, it's a good idea to get your e-ticket at the ready, because they are scanned as you make your way in. And before heading into the premium lounge, we did have a quick look at the map and at some of the memorabilia and trophies on display outside. Including the 2002 World Series trophy. Then next to the trophy was the entrance to the Team A store. So we thought we'd have a quick look around. And it's worth saying it does get busy inside. So give yourself enough time to have a look around, especially if you want to buy something. And some of the things available, a rally monkey toy, through to loads of different Angels jerseys, and obviously, baseball caps. After having a good look around, it was then off to today's premium lounge, the Lexus Diamond Club. E-tickets at the ready again, which were scanned as we checked in. And before heading inside, we did receive a stamp. into the lounge and off to reception where a member of staff then walked us through the lounge and to our reserved table. Not too busy in the lounge at this point but it does get busy later on. Waiting inside the drinks menu was this golden wristband and this was for the optional upgrade for the $60 food buffet. And with this upgrade we did get access to hot and cold food stations, loads to choose from and food was served before the game and up until during the game. To start off, we went for some salad with some freshly made tacos. And there were a couple of Mexican options, including some empanadas, so we thought we'd go for these as well. All the food is unlimited and it's a case of taking your plate up and helping yourself. Then back to the table to try out some really tasty tacos. And the empanadas weren't bad either. Moving on to the drinks, and there was an extensive menu, and it was a case of ordering from one of the waiters or waitresses, where there was table service from the paid bar. After the first course, it was then up to the other food stations, and there was charcuterie, all the way through to seafood. Tried out one of the seafood dishes, which had prawns and vegetables. Then for main course, pork shoulder, which did look incredible and all of the meat was hand carved to order. There were a couple to choose from, both looked really tasty, so in the end, we went for one of each. And along with corn and wedges, this was definitely the pick of the courses. Good news if you've got a sweet tooth because there weren't loads of desserts to choose from, grabbed a spoon and went for some of the gelato. One of the flavors was proving to be very popular, so we thought we'd try out the mint chocolate chip and it was really good. And if you didn't fancy gelato, there was a variety of fruits, as well as cakes. The ice cream, cakes and fruit do stay out longer than the main courses, so you can try these a bit later on. And these were pretty good as well. Something else that stays out later than the cakes and the desserts are the hot dogs. Amazing, thank you. So during the game, we did make our way back inside to grab one, which we loaded up with chili jalapenos, and some onions. Back to before the game, and there is direct access into the stand. 
where you make your way past the seated patio area. And today's premium seats were located in section 116. So it was down a few steps and to a vintage padded seat right behind the home plate. Tickets to the Lexus Diamond Club were $325 plus fees and there was a $60 charge for the food upgrade. During the game against the Dodgers, we did take food and drinks to our seats and the hot dog was amazing. Then towards the eighth inning, we did leave our seats and section 116 to have a look around the rest of the stadium. On our travels, we did spot the Wall of Fame, loads more memorabilia, and an oversized bobblehead of Shohei Otani. And before the end of the game, back into the stand to check out the atmosphere around the stadium. In the end, the Dodgers won 2-0. And for our next padded seat, we are staying in Los Angeles as we visit the Dodger Stadium. So keep an eye out for the next padded seats.